I felt that I was treated badly um, because of my age and standing up to the BBC was the right thing to do, however hurtful, however stressful it has been. A TV presenter who says she was sacked because of her age has won an employment tribunal against the BBC. Miriam O'Reilly was 51 when she was dropped from Country File and replaced with a younger presenter. After losing the case, the BBC apologised, saying it'll consider her for future work. She's clear that bringing the case was appropriate. We'll be talking to her lawyer, Camilla Palmer, who's a partner at Lee Day, specialist in employment discrimination, and Miriam O'Reilly's solicitor, uh, very, very shortly. Uh, now, as I said, Miriam O'Reilly, whom you just heard, won her case for discrimination against the BBC. Camilla Palmer was her solicitor. And so, first of all, Camilla, I must congratulate you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, yes. It's it a was great a great victory and uh, probably a momentous uh, one. Tell us, first of all, on the specifics of this uh, case. What was it, apart from your brilliance as the solicitor, that uh, won the case for you, do you think? Well, of course, Mi Miriam's brilliance. <laughs> um, I mean, what the tribunal found was that if she'd been 10 or 15 years younger, she wouldn't have been removed from a country file, and that the BBC made this decision uh, because she was too old, and she was replaced by younger presenters in their 20s and 30s, uh, and four of the women in their 40s and 50s um, were removed. This, despite the fact that Miriam is an award-winning journalist, despite the fact that she was highly regarded by her boss, um, and despite the fact that the program moved to prime time because it had been doing so well, yeah. partly because of those who were presenting. It was a classic case of changing a winning team. Um, well, yes. We always say don't change a winning team, but in this case they did change a winning team uh, and uh, traded the older ladies in for uh, younger models. Did it work? I mean, what's the critical, I'd never seen the program, what's the critical feedback of the, of the new team? Were they as popular? Well, it's, it's, it's difficult to say because it moved prime time, therefore, to a much greater audience which is always the case when you move to prime time. And yeah. it, it, it's certainly true. I think it's attracting 7 million, uh, 7 million viewers. But there was an outcry at the time by many people. And an awful lot of people who've emailed Miriam and emailed me to say, you know, good on you. Why do we have to have younger, want younger presenters? Um, we want to see, you know, the good old presenters who were much loved and much, mm. much admired and who were very good. And, of course, but, it isn't just about age, is it, Camilla? It's about gender also, because as somebody pointed out in a text earlier, Bruce Forsyth's 110, and he's still on the <laughs> telly every Saturday night, and they've just come up, I think, with a new program for him. So uh, men can be as old as the hills on TV. Yeah. It's women. Yeah, they can be grey and wrinkly. And, um, Thank God for that. Slightly overweight and have f fuzzy hair, and uh, women get criticised for their wrinkles and the way their hair looks and their weight. Um, but men don't get the same treatment. You're absolutely right, yes. And if you watch now the presenters and the news readers, there are an awful lot of young, pretty women. I'm not saying they're not good, um, but there are an awful lot um, of um, older men um, who may not be as pretty. attractive. Mm. Yeah, so, I mean, it's, a, it's basically double discrimination against females uh, and against older females. So let's move on to the, uh, to generalize from this, uh, if we can. She struck a blow uh, for the four women involved in this case. Will it translate into being a blow for women in general, women workers in the media in general? Yes, I think it will affect um It'll affect all workers, and, and particularly those in the media, where there's a bit of a, a bit of a trend for, um, you know, refreshing programmes without really considering who's the best person for the job. We we think we need to refresh because maybe we need to attract uh, younger younger viewers. And um, and you know, the tribunal said, you know, you can't get rid of older presenters simply to pander to the assumed prejudice of some younger viewers. 
And, I mean, one of the things that's interesting in the number of emails we've had is some women saying, I feel a bit safer now. Perhaps, you know, I won't, you know, I'm 55, 57. I won't be uh, kicked out um, as I feel I might have been if there hadn't been this very high-profile case. Mm. And so hopefully broadcasters will take notice of it and uh, will, what you want is select people on the basis of their ability um, to do the job. Yeah. Which is all we're asking. We're not saying, no one's saying you have to keep people who are not able to do the job, who are not performing, who are not attracting viewers. Um, they just can't get rid of them because of their age. Yeah. Well, tell me this. The BBC have said that they'll consider Miriam for other work. Do you believe them, or were they just uh, giving the appearance of eating some humble pie? No, I do believe them, actually. You might think that's naive, but I do believe them. And the reason I believe them is because they apologized immediately. They said, yeah, we got it wrong, we're sorry, we're going to change things, and we'd like to work with Miriam and see if she'll come back and work with us. And I do think that was genuine, because, frankly, it's the first time it's ever happened in any case I've ever, ever taken. And it means a huge amount to Miriam that um, the BBC had said, sorry, um, we went wrong, we're going to put things right. And, you know, I think there are signs that they're going to do that. Well, I congratulate you again, Camilla. That's Camilla Palmer, partner at Lee Day, who was the solicitor to Miriam O'Reilly, who won her case against the BBC on grounds of discrimination when she was sacked from her job as a presenter on Countryfile.